Kamusta uli kayo mga Cashless Geeks? Ito uli ang inyong Clever Spender. And uh, before we begin, I'd like to thank everyone for putting in their questions, their comments sa comment section natin. At least nagkakaroon ako ng topic sa mga future videos ko. And uh, speaking of, isa sa mga subscriber natin na may question at sasagutin natin ito. Ang question ay galing kay Lila or Lila. Collect, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, ang sabi niya, paano po yung crypto earn? Paano po yung step-by-step -step process at minimum na mga cryptocurrencies doon? Um, Ruby Steel holder po ako. Nalilito po kasi ako sa time deposit na 6 months and crypto earn. So, um, Lila, don't worry. Yun yung gagawin natin ngayon. At uh, sasagutin natin at i-distinguish natin kung ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng staking at saka ng uh, crypto earn. Yan at marami pa iba. Dito lang sa The Clever Spender. Okay, and guys, before we begin, just a brief disclaimer, hindi po ako isang licensed financial analyst or a financial advisor. And lahat ng mga binibigay ko sa inyong opinion dito sa channel na to is based from my personal experience lang. Um, having signed up with Crypto.com over, uh, over the past few weeks. And if you're planning to make an investment, especially kung malaking amount yung lalabas niyong pera, I would suggest that you check on the um, proper sources, you do your research before you make that investment. Investment. Ganun din yung ginawa ko sa before I signed up with Crypto.com, pinag-aralan ko mabuti, at saka yung mga cryptocurrencies na pinag-investan ko. I always make sure na um, reputable itong mga cryptocurrencies na to, hindi talaga siya yung biglang babagsa kasi may mga cases na um, pag nag-invest kasi isang cryptocurrency, lalo na kung bagong cryptocurrency ito, um, eventually, within the next few months, within the next few years, nawawala na lang siyang bigla. And we don't want that to happen. Yun yung purpose ng channel na to, um, just to give you awareness at the same time, matulungan din kayo sa mga decisions nyo when it comes to your investment sa cryptocurrency. Okay, so balikan na natin yung question ni Lila Anina. Ano nga ba yung pagkakaiba ng staking at saka ng crypto earn sa crypto.com? Well, when I did my research, I found out na parehas lang siya. Actually, kasi you're putting your your funds on hold. Um, yung staking or crypto earn uh, will ensure the cryptocurrency sa stability ng coin nila. Um, sa crypto.com side naman, this will help them with their operations. And uh, para ma-handle nila yung app, um, yung MCO, yung crypto.com coin nila, uh, maging stable ito hanggang sa tumaas ng tumaas yung value or kung ano mang investments yung pag pagdadalhan nila ng pera natin. In return, they're gonna give us benefits. So parang pag nag-time deposit ka sa banko, di ba, pinahira mo yung pera mo sa banko for a period of say 6 months to a maximum or may 1 year or it could be longer. And yung ginagawa ng banko dun sa pera habang naka-hold siya, um, pinapahiram nila yun in a form of credit cards, personal loan, housing loan, auto loan, mga ganun. Siyempre, kumikita yung banko, in return, kikita sila ng interest. And ikaw naman, nag-earn ka rin ng interest. Although, yeah, maliit lang to compare sa mga na-earn nilang mga interest. So, parang ganun yung nangyayari sa atin uh, when we sign up. Kasi, syempre, this we're actually guaranteeing them that we're not gonna use the funds for a period of time. This will help them with their investments. This will also help them with... Uh, if for, for some of you who don't know, meron din credit facility ang crypto.com. Crypto Although it's not offered, I think in Southeast Asia, hindi pa siya offered. Pero in some countries, it's already being offered. Ngayon, yung, yung stake natin is limited lang sa MCO coins na pinopromote ng Crypto.com. Compared to Crypto Earn, pwede kang mag-stake ng kahit anong cryptocurrency na nagpa-participate sa app nila. So, pwede kang sa Bitcoin, pwede ka sa Ethereum, pwede ka rin sa CRO coins na pinopromote ng Crypto.com, um, sa Litecoin, at marami pang iba. So ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumamit ng Crypto Earn. So, punta muna tayo sa Crypto.com app. Tapos, punta tayo dito sa, uh, press nyo lang yung nasa gitna. Hindi ko naman ang tawag dyan, home button or whatever. Tapos, makikita nyo dito sa bottom part ng screen, merong earn. So, kiklik nyo lang yon Kung mapapansin nyo, meron na ako dito mga crypto earn investments. Meron ako 3-month term, yung crypto coin, at saka yung Litecoin na naka 1-month term. Uh, na mag end na rin in 5 days. Para sa mga first time na magki-crypto earn, all you have to do is to click on the upper right part ng screen nyo. Merong plus sign doon. And then, lalabas na yung mga cryptocurrencies na nagpa-participate sa crypto earn. Andito silang lahat. 
Okay. So, for example, gawin natin example si Cardano. Um, gusto kong ilagay sa crypto earn si Cardano. Ito yung lalabas na mga terms. So, meron ditong 1% per annum na term, pero flexible siya. So, ano nga ba yung flexible term? Ito yung pwede mo i-pull out at any given time na gusto mo na i-pull out yung funds mo. Which is good, especially if uh, low risk taker ka. Um, kung medium risk ka naman, uh, medium risk taker ka, then you can take advantage of the 2% per annum na interest rate ng 1 month term and then kung high risk taker ka then 3 month term will be good for you at 4% per annum remember kapag ka napun- pag ka nag stake ka and then you placed your um, cryptocurrencies on a 1 month or 3 month term hindi mo siya pwedeng galawin for that period of time so be very careful uh, when putting in your investments sa cryptocurrencies you need to make sure na you check on the um, stability ng coin na yon. Makikita nyo naman siya dito pa lang sa page na to. Balik tayo sa main page. Makita nyo yung track option na nasa upper, uh, lower part ng screen nyo. Nandun yung mga cryptocurrencies at makikita nyo yung mga performance nila. So kung gusto nyo check yung performance, historical data nila. For example, check natin yung Bitcoin. Andito yung historical data niya for the day. And dito rin yung historical data niya for the past 6 months. Kung mapapansin nyo, bagsak sila nung March. Pero um, Bitcoin is starting to catch up um, over the para- past 3 months. So, tingnan nyo rin yung info niya. Ano ba yung info ng Bitcoin? Anong ranking niya across all cryptocurrencies na nag exist At ano yung market cap niya? Dito pa lang madidetermine nyo kung mapagkakatiwalaan nyo ba yung pag invest yung cryptocurrency. Kung gusto niya naman na uh, talagang walang risk of losing the money, um, you I suggest that you invest on um, yung mga stable coins natin. So meron tong USDT Tether, which is a USDT stable coin, one dollar yung value niya. Meron tayong um, USD coin, which is also a stable coin, at marami pang ibang mga stable coins dito. So, ito mga stable coins hindi ito gumagalaw um, para ka lang nag-deposit sa banko. Ang difference lang, mas malaki yung interest na nakukuha mo dito sa Crypto.com app compared to you investing or putting your deposit sa regular traditional bank. So, tingnan natin for example sa Tether. Punta tayo dito sa Crypto Earn and then try natin mag-deposit kunyari or mag-Crypto Earn ng Tether. Asa na siya? Ito. So, makikita nyo rito, medyo mataas yung interest rates niya. Um, for flexible term, which you can pull out anytime, 6% per annum siya. For um, 1 month term, 8% per annum. And then, kung 3 month term naman, nasa 10% per annum. Sobrang taas niya, compare mo sa mga traditional banks natin. Ang pinakamataas na, I think, is yung sa CIMB Bank. Pero kailangan 100,000 pesos yung deposit mo doon para makakuha ka ng 4% per annum na interest. Or sa ING Bank na naka-promo rate ngayon na 4% pa rin regardless of the amount that you're putting in. Pero at least ito, um, you can be guaranteed na ito yung interest rate mo for a period of the next few months. Um, Three-month term, tapos pwede mo siyang i-renew ng i-renew hanggang sa um, tumaas ng tumaas yung value ng pera mo. Yun yung nasa stable coin. Pero yun nga, um, sabi ko nga sa inyo, kung ayon yun talaga ng risk na mawala yung pera nyo, I would suggest na sa stable coin kayo. Otherwise, kung gusto nyo namang i-take yung chances nyo, baka nga naman tumaas yung value ng cryptocurrency na gusto nyo, then go ahead and uh, put your ano, investment sa cryptocurrency, especially mga papausbong na cryptocurrencies pa lang. Pero be very careful whenever you're putting in your money, hard-earned money on those investments. Ayan guys, so so far yun lang naman yung crypto earn. Um, I'm hoping na na-establish natin yung difference ng crypto earn at ng staking. Actually, wala nga siyang difference. It's the same thing. Um, staking with MCO is actually um, limited to just MCO. While with crypto earn, you can actually um, invest or stake in any other cryptocurrencies na nagpa-participate sa crypto.com. Yun lang yung difference ng dalawa. Uh, and... Uh, other than that, uh, marami pang terms na nagbabago. For example, yung sa staking natin sa MCO, it's it's actually fixed for 6 months. 
sa crypto earn naman, meron kang option to pull it out using flexible terms. Um, merong option na 1 month term tsaka 3 month term just to give you a recap of everything. I hope that I'm able to answer your question, Lila. And for those of you who have questions about anything um, related to cryptocurrencies, um, finances, yung mga wallet apps natin like Gcash, Paymaya, Coins.ph, or any banking apps or credit cards for that matter, kung may mga questions kayo, please feel free to put in your questions sa comment section below. So, yun lang naman today guys. Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood nyo ng video ko. Kung umabot kayo sa time na ito, maraming maraming salamat at pinanood nyo yung buong video ko. If you like this video, please don't forget to click on the like um, button. At kung gusto nyo pang maging updated sa mga future videos ko, please click on subscribe. And kung may mga friends din kayo na interested sa... Uh, cryptocurrencies or investing into cryptocurrencies pero hindi pa masyadong sure then please share to them this video para naman um, enganyo sila or at least magkaroon sila na idea kung paano nga ba mag invest sa crypto market and uh, maraming maraming salamat uli guys you all have a good day